Welcome back to episode four of my Uncommonwealth series, where I'm playing as Lithuania in the EU4 1.34 Sweden update um, with the Lines of the North DLC. Uh, we're playing around with Lithuania's new mission tree and uh, trying to get the Uncommonwealth achievement. So, um, I got my second idea group in the last one. I didn't pick it yet, but I think I'm going to go offensive and then innovative. I could go innovative first. Maybe I should go innovative first. But offensive will make me stronger faster. You know what? I feel like if I'm going to take innovative, I should do it first. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do innovative. So I'm doing offensive and innovative because it'll give me a trifecta of policies. Um, and it's going to give me more siege ability. More siege ability with the innovative policy. I get an extra diplomat from the... Um, an extra diplomat from the espionage policy. The stab cost modifiers, it's an alright bonus. It's not its not great, but it's alright. So it'll work for me. Plus I'll get all these nice innovative ideas, I'll get all these nice... Uh, I'll get some more force limit and all that fun stuff. So yeah, I think we'll go innovative first actually, so... We will do that. Uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, we're gonna let those guys recoup. Uh, 1485, so we're waiting about a year and we can seize land again. I will not spare an expense there. Uh, we lost, uh, we're, we've eclipsed the Great Horde, I guess, so... Who else is there? France is rivaled to England and Austria, so if I rival England... I feel like France would have to be pretty close. So we'll start improving relations with France. I'm going to try an ally. I think France would be a good ally. Advisor cost plus diplomat. Very strong. Very good. Uh, we can go ahead and revoke this embargo then. And we will embargo England instead. Keep our PP very big. Everyone loves a big PP, right? <laughs> We'll go ahead and get ourselves some cannons, and I could get a value cannon, but I guess instead I'm gonna go. F I'm gonna fish for radical reforms. So I don't think I got it yet, and we'll go for three advisors since we can afford them now. Oh, we can afford them big time. We can definitely afford a cannon too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one cannon on each army. Uh, Triumph of the Clergy loses stability. They got a lot of influence. They would drop their influence, though. This would give them influence. I guess I'll do it. Um, we'll extend all these loans again. Um, and instead, we will use that money to improve our country. So let's get a workshop there. Um, I guess we'll start building some more churches up. I'm going to leave myself a buffer on my income. Okay, I did March Riga, so... I should be able to do both of those. It's going to be a little costly. Uh, let's get ourselves... I can't get another general, huh? I guess I'll just drill with that. Oh wow, that's a fast radical reforms. So if you don't know how to deal with radical radical reforms, here's what you do. Um, you always pick this option right here. Um, none of these other ones are worth it. This is these two combined, and five mercantilism for stability is not worth it. So we will fire our advisors, and we will now get 200 of each of admin power and diplo power and then we're gonna come right back we're gonna rehire our trade efficiency guy and we will rehire our inflation reduction guy because we have a lot of inflation and there you go I could boost my stability back up um, 
for 83, I think it's worth it. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue increasing our Patriarch Authority. I could take Warsaw. I think I'll just renounce the claim. We don't want to upset Poland too much, you know? You know how those poles can be. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Uh, we'll go ahead, I'm going to push through espionage ideas. You guys still not feeling it? Still not feeling it, huh? What if I insult the Austrians? I've already insulted a rival. I don't want to insult them for no reason. Well, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Who is most vulnerable? Oh, Denmark lost a lot of land to Sweden. It's my truce with you guys up 1487. So this truce is just about up. I'm going to start building a spy network on them. And now we're going to unleash the full power of espionage ideas. Okay, so summon a diet. I forgot to siege. I think I missed it by a year. A year and a half, actually. A year and three months. So these are both war with the Great Horde. It's not very strong, and their only ally is Shiravan. They have very little manpower right now. And I don't want to do that, so... We can get the Cossacks loyal and 50 admin power. Or get the... We need cost loyalty, so we'll do this. Uh, we'll seize land. Forgot again. I will need to get that revoked eventually. Now, taking the established Cossack regiments... Not going to give me a whole lot of land force limits... And it's going to stop me from seizing any more land from them. But it'll help me complete this mission. How high is their loyalty already? Their equilibrium is 53. This would put it high enough right. No, this isn't going to give me any more loyalty equilibrium from them. But I'd get close. And that's just going to give me more Cossack regiments. From completing it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm quite at a point where I want that yet. I guess we'll stop drilling and get our armies down here. We'll get ready for a war with the Great Horde should be very, very easy. So I guess I should build a spy network on them too then. Okay, France would ally me, so there we go. We have a nice, strong ally in France now. Who's Austria's other rivals? The Ottomans and England. I could potentially ally the Ottomans if I get my relations up with them. I'm going to start improving with them to see if we can do anything. I'm going to stop with this. We'll go ahead and take our first innovative idea. 
to get us more stab reductions. Yeah, and here we go. Let's declare war on the Great Horde. And we want to take... Um, wait, didn't I pick... Did I pick the wrong one? No, I did pick the right one. I thought it was... It's a Prosia. Or Royal Mary France, obviously. Okay, declare war... Koblager, Chirvon, why not? And we'll declare it for Bahmut. I should be seeing if I can sell Renaissance to any of my subjects. Oh yeah, we'll sell it to Riga. A little bit of money, a little bit of extra income. Never hurts anybody, right? I mean, it, it doesn't matter because I subjugated them already. Okay. Death of a merchant. I will take the money. I'll take the money. I'm just going to push through the rest of espionage ideas. I feel like that's the right move. I will let the Holy Church be keep snacking up that um, Patriarch Authority. Well, we can go ahead and build a couple more of those. Okay, so I think I want to take this whole state in the peace deal, all of their money, uh, war reps and trade power, maybe not trade power, I think that's good. I can afford to repay all of my loans. It's going to take all of my money, though. Um, go ahead and core all this. Teutonic Aggression. Okay, they still don't want to ally me. Not surprising. Uh, we can go ahead and lay some claims with the spy network we built up. And now we'll go back to building spy network on the Teutons. I'm going to pounce on them literally right after this war they're in. So I still have... Okay, no, I did max out my slots. Uh, Odiev, we could Royal Mary, right? So let's do that. Hmm. 
<laughs> I guess at this point I can afford to unmothball my ships. Would have been mothballed the whole game. Uh, we'll go ahead and build up. Hmm. Not too many useful buildings for me right now. I guess a um, workshop in my capital is not a bad idea. I should piece this war out soon, and then I can immediately attack them. Um, I'm just going to extend my loans. These guys got stuck back here. That's okay. They can get in here. Um, I'm just going to set one of my free diplomats to always improve with subject countries. Well, we can go ahead and see if we can knowledge share with anybody else. I will knowledge share with Poland. Uh, now we'll go ahead and take improved war taxes. I'll just spend the money and get money back easily. Finish off espionage ideas. I'm always going to go for the production. We've sieged Königsberg. I'll just take the prestige hit, it'll be okay. Iberian wedding happens, so Aragon is now junior partner of Castile. The Mamluks have rivaled me, huh? Counter rival to the Mamluks might be enough to get the Ottomans to um, consider an alliance. At least a little more. Oh, they were they're rivaled to France. Okay, that's never gonna happen. I would rather have France though. A lot of truces are up. Uh, Poland already jumped on that fort. I will take mercantilism for 10 legitimacy. I can't trade company this either, huh? I'm just going to keep it a territory for now. Great Horde Separatists. They're going to do their thing for a minute. I can't get over there. I'm in the middle of this. Master Recruiter Skill 2 or 5 Prestige. I'll take the Prestige. Siege of Donzig is over, so... This army can go deal with that. They've unconditionally surrendered. I will take the province, because it is a trade center, right? Yes, it is. It's a trade center and a statuary, so that's good. So we'll take the province, take all of their money. Sounds good to me. And I can start coring that up when I have... Oh, the Teutons have a core on it, so I can't core it up. 
They've inherited Burgundy as Austria, so that's actually good for us. I can go ahead and take the next mill idea or mill um, tech group, so let's do mill, more mill. Split this army up and do that. And I'm just waiting for these guys to finish sieging. Okay, they have been looted to crap and back. I could do some looting over here. England has been insulted by Lithuania. Gain three army tradition. You know what? No, we'll do that. So, build a church here. Sounds good. And you also still have some looting that can be done. <laughs> Innovative gain. Good. More tax. Good. Keep making money. We can seize land as soon as this war's over. We can piece Stetton out, so let's take all their money. War reps, trade power. No, not trade power. We want to force religion on them. Let's get some orthodox in the empire, huh? They may not have the... Uh, Reformation spawning yet, but they do already have some religious disunity, which is always good for us. I would like to do the same to Lunaburg, so I'm going to wait for us to finish sieging it. There we go. So once again, all their money, force religion, war reps, and trade power. We'll take a little less money from them, it's not as much. There we go. And now for the Teutons. So I have a claim on this as well. I thought I had a claim on Marienburg. Oh yes, I do. So we take those. Uh, Poland has some claims, so let's give some land to Poland. We can grow them a little bit. Oh, Poland has claims on the rest of it, huh? And the Livonians have a claim on this. Um, How big can I make Poland? Um, oh yeah, how big can I make them? They can have 40 cities, or less than 40 cities. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 6 more for them, which will put them at 35. So I wouldn't want to grow them too much after this. But as soon as I can enforce this, that's going to be great. So yeah, um, if this isn't too much... Oh... Oh, that is, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. So we will take everything we can from them. And as soon as our diplomat's back. Nice peace deal. Nice peace deal. So we will core everything we can. We'll go ahead and take start getting caught up on Diplotech again. Um, as soon as I can switch my focus in 97, I need to switch it. Uh, let's go ahead and summon another diet. Build a workshop here. Sounds good to me. And we will seize land. Which gets us above 30 crownlands, so no more penalties there. Average minimum autonomy is less than 10. So 
there a way to see your average minimum autonomy? And what could I do to improve it? I mean, doing this should lower it, right? start clearing that as well that one is too far drilling armies paid off I think that's a good place to end this episode, though. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, I would appreciate a like. If you really enjoyed the episode, I'd appreciate a, a subscription. I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye.